As I'm putting rain guards on my Honda Pilot, they're going to go here, they're going to go here, they're in rail, so they go along there. I'm going to show you how to put this on, where it stays on, and it will never fall off of your car, no matter what you do, no matter how long you have the car. Again, these are really nice. They're not going to break. They're not going to shatter. Okay, it's the same quality, if not the same company, that WeatherTech is getting their rain guards from. I'll put a link in the description. Let me show you what to do. Thing we're gonna do is they give you an alcohol wipe in this cool little tool right here close up darling get real close super close right here you would think well i really don't want to clean that well let me just explain why you want to clean it my friend because that's where the adhesive is going to stick if it's filled with dust guess what it's not going to stick you got to be kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. And so all we do is we put this little thing here and we just go through here like that. Because your okay. alcohol wipey is only going to be wet for so long. And so we got to clean all four windows, even though we're only putting guards on one window at a time. So here, that's all we're doing. We're just going back and forth. Back and forth. What do you guys think? And you're like, you didn't show us anything. Yeah, because you were going to go ahead of me, okay? That's why. Don't go ahead of me. No, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> I like you guys, so I'm going to give you another tip, okay? Their tape here, okay? They were only giving you this much tape at first. Then people complained. Why did they complain? Because this would be on the side of the road. I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay, it's pouring rain, and all of a sudden, it just goes flying behind. And if this thing hits the car behind you and you cause damage, it's on you, my friend. And so, I want to share this with you, okay? See this tape? They've given you more tape, but this tape right here is rated for like three pounds, okay? Again, then when it heats up, it's 95% less effective. And so, here's the key, okay? All of these rain guards use this crap tape that is rated under perfect conditions. So you need this. This is a $4 option. No matter what rails that you get, no matter what it is that you're going to put on your windows, I don't care what the brand is, you need this. Why? Because this is rated at 15 pounds. Do you know what that means? I only need a little bit of this. And no matter how much the sun beats down on your car, whether you're in Arizona, Vegas, or Cali, this isn't coming off. And so what we got to do is put a little bit of this on, on top of this, and guess what? It's the perfect storm. You're ready to face the elements. You can succeed. So guys, here's what I did. I pulled this off of this side, okay? And this is, okay, this is double-sided, so I'm not going to pull off the second layer yet. So I have a piece here. Over here, I have a piece. And let me tell you what crap this is. When I pulled this piece off, I mean, the whole thing came off. This is sticky right here. This was supposed, this is what's going to hold it onto your window. And here, the whole thing just peels off. You only need two or three pieces. So I don't have to go along and redo all of this. I just want a piece here, here, and maybe a piece up here. And then that is more than enough to hold it on through a nuclear device. I'm, I'm pushing up, okay? And it's okay if you push up and have to pull it back out because this is the good adhesive. It's not going anywhere, okay? So I'm pushing it way up right here. I'm going in the track and I'm pushing it up. And now it's gonna be a little bit harder, guys, to push it up because you're using the really good stuff, okay? Oh yeah, baby. Now see where I was talking about here? This is not fitting right here. This right here is not fitting. Why is it fitting? Because I don't have it. So I pull it back down, okay? And I shove that way. I gotta shove that way. Then I'm shoving back up this way. And don't think your adhesive is there. There we go. Look at that. It doesn't, when it goes put this in. up. Come here, get a close up. This doesn't feel super secure here. You know why? It's not cured yet. What we have to do is we have to turn on the car. Okay, my window, I've gone through here with this, okay? All the way through, I'm not feeling anything that would hinder the window other than it would be tight. And again, once it seats in the hot sun, once your window is up there, the plastic will mold around the window. But here's a trick that no one else is gonna tell you. What is that? That's olive oil. You're like, what are you gonna do with it? Watch this. Now I have this fancy dancy sprayer. You don't need this, okay? 
You don't have to have this, but all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of olive oil up there. And I can just spray it actually with my sprayer. You ready to see if it goes up? When you get it up to here, like this close, you have to slowly, you can't just go full speed up, okay? You can't even go this much. When you get about that close, you just have to kind of nudge it up. So watch this, see? See, it will come down. So what I do, watch this. See how close I am right there? I am right there. Nudge, nudge, just so we're nudging it, nudging it, nudging it. Just real, real slow, guys. Real slow. There we go. Let's see what she looks like on the end. Now. This is my back window. So I'm just cutting that 3M tape a little off. Okay, we don't want any on this side here. That's going to hinder. So I have an extra piece here. I have an extra piece here and I have an extra piece here. And I have nothing. This is all flush right here. So there's no stickiness on this side. And this one, I'm just going to go way up in there. This one is so easy, guys. Okay, we're just going to jam that up there like that. Now I got it pretty... Mm. And I can clean that in a little bit right there. Right. So this is looking great. I want to use the tool that they supply me and go through the track. Make sure nothing's hindering that, okay? Also, when you're putting up the window, if the window keeps on going up and bouncing back and going up and bouncing back and you've gone really, really slow, one of the things that you can do is on the opposite side, just kind of pull it like that. So let's do this. I'll reach over here. And there you go. Check that out. Looking good. Okay, we're on the other side. First thing I want to do is take off all of the yellow stripping because I'm going to go on top of some of it. You don't need, here's the thing, I'll shoot straight with you. You don't need very much of this, okay? Because this stuff is thick. If you have like two pieces on it, that's more than enough. It really, really is. I didn't realize how strong that stuff was. But you know what? I don't want my thing flying down the road. And I tell you what, with two pieces on there, it's not going anywhere. It really is not going to go anywhere. Yellow tape off. I've added one piece here, one little piece here, and one little piece here. We're going to go ahead and put that in the track. We'll start up here. And remember, we're going to shove that up there. I've already gone through the track with the tool. Yeah, baby. Get you up there. Get you in there. Like that. And again, this has to bend a little bit to get in there. Make sure it slides up, but you can also pull on the glass when it's going up. And again, it's not going to be perfect right now. It's not perfect because it's not seated. Seating means I'm allowing that plastic to go ahead and heat up around the window. And then it's heating up the glue, the, the stuff that you used, and it makes a permanent bond. Using my piece, making sure I'm clear all the way up and around. You don't want to skip this piece, especially right here. This piece right here is really tricky, trying to get it in there, but not in, there's a piece of rubber here, okay? Look at, look at, there's a piece of rubber in here and you can have it between the rubber and the metal here. That's why you have to make sure it's over the rubber, but this has to be clear right here, okay? So I'm gonna put, go ahead and put the window up. I'm gonna push just gently right here. I'm just bending it out a little bit. Okay, I can he hear it up here. So now I'm going to tape, tap it up, tap it up, tap it up. See how it bounced back on me? Looks like from the outside. Looks good. I need to wipe, I need to wipe this off right here, but that is perfect. And again, this is not going to line up perfectly. If you're, if you are a narcissist, do not buy any kind of uh, rain guards because they never are perfect. This is like a DIY project. And most people, if you don't have the patience of Job, are going to go crazy because you have to finesse After it. After you and finesse again, it, 
you need to wash your hands of it and leave it for 48 hours in the hot sun. If you are having rainy and cloudy days for a week, don't put your windows down. You need heat, consistent heat for hours upon hours. And you don't want to use a heat gun. You don't want to use a hair dryer. Just wait, okay, until you have a good hot day and just leave it. It is much harder to get these to seal, to fit perfectly when it's winter. Put this one together. First thing you do, saran wrap off. Second thing you do, you're gonna take your tape off of here, here, and here. Then what are you gonna do? You just need a small little piece at the very top. You don't need to cover this, okay, with the 3M. Just the smallest little piece here, the smallest little piece here, nudge that up and you're golden. I reinforced it here, here, when I was taking, this is the thin tape that it came with, but when I was taking this off, the whole thing this came off. happened so on the cool. other side as well. I go to pull this off and the it, sticker comes up. And so you really do have to reinforce it with the 3M. So I have a piece there. Again, we're gonna go right into here. We're gonna nudge that in, okay? That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna nudge that in. Go, make sure you get it in the track, shove it in there like that. This side is a dream, like that. When you go to put up the window, what are you gonna do? You're gonna lift it right there. It's gonna sit for 48 hours in the hot sun and these are all done. But let me put that window We're gonna use up. our tool and what we need to do, we need to go through there, kind of work it, make sure there's nothing in the track. Now this track for some reason is really tight. So you may have to just kind of work it back and forth a few times. When I'm working it, I'm not going straight up. I go straight up and then I tilt it a little bit like that. So I'm kind of pushing out the plastic a little bit kind of moving it okay remember you can put your hand on the opposite side you can go up slow slow guys slow and that's it let's look at it so check guys that. there you have it tips and tricks and again this is a diy project worst case scenario Okay, this plastic, um, yes, you could scratch it, but you would have to be really stupid on it. You don't want to put compound on that. So if you're ever compounding this, you know, waxing this, don't hit this with compound. Worst case scenario, this over time became loose. I don't foresee that happening, but that's the worst case scenario because right now these are solid. After they sit in the sun, again, I can't tell you how many times I have to tell people that. They have to, okay, and that's going to mold them perfectly to your car. But I like the look of it. You know, I really do. Let's let's look at the other side. Kind of get it what it looks like from this angle. You know what I'm saying? The hotter this tape gets, the stickier it gets. It's amazing stuff, and that's why you only need a little bit. I kind of went overkill on this one, and you can see. I don't need that big of a piece. You just need like one, two, three. When you're putting the window up, again, I didn't tell you when I was doing this window, pull out a little bit. Maybe you don't even need the olive oil, but I, I went ahead and put olive oil on it and um, that track fits good. All right, guys, thanks for listening. I hope this helped you out. Links are in the description.